So, back we are. We shall be continuing our let's play and uh, let us continue the story. So, we're. Do you have what it takes to defeat the rats? We're gonna kick some rat ass. Supposedly, I believe the next one should be the rat boss. A quick glimpse at things to come. Compensation. So, now, whenever the player finishes a combat, they lose one gold per 15 health. Holy shit. So, literally, if we're uh, fully loaded. That's going to be around uh, 2 times 3 is 6, so around 7, max between 6 and 7. And we have 5 of Dust and 4 of Ambush. Choose your opponent, King of Dust. Wait, I can't choose him. Ah, I have to choose Jack of Plague first. The player loses 5 gold for every fail, and 10 gold for every huge failure chance card. Okay, this isn't so bad. I don't have them so frequent so far. And but we're up against Ratman now. Jack of Plague. Ah, the rats. They have swarmed up from the dark places beneath the realms of humanity and now squat amongst your cities and feast and shriek and hunt and ride. Very nice. Your decks have been updated. I'm not even going to bother uh trying to go into the decks yet still not the best at the game our lord of plague does like to rub your nose in misfortune i love that these are all the cars that we're going to be getting there we go the soundtrack is just the best So the stairs are there. Forward we shall go. Mr. Lionel, god damn it, now what? We already know him. So we can't give him gold, we can give him the bread. We gave him last time. We asked him last time. We... Let's give him the bread and let's see what he does this time. He considers the bread seriously before placing it carefully in his coat pocket, seemingly satisfied when he sits before slapping tables. And aha, I know what you need. Smacks you in the head, you come to, you find yourself in a place you don't recognize, with your blanket tucked comfortably around you. So every time it's a random somehow behavior from him, Usury, the root of all troubles. We get a token for this. In a busy market town, you're approached by a shopkeeper on the verge of losing a store. Oh, thanks God, yes, I'll give you ten gold. The shopkeeper gratefully accepts your gold, saying, you won't regret this. Our hero needs sustenance badly. Blessings will remain always active and are never removed. Unless you die, of course. After ten steps, then you're back where you player began, draws three always. gold cards. So I have a choice to move back, and then I have to move forward. But the only problem is that's one, two, and three. So I'm going to start to starve the moment I move. But, like, I don't know, I'll lose my mind if I skip this one, so... The maiden. Ah, oh, she can give me food. You might think the world Thank you, my dearest. We already met her 20 million times, so let's ask for supplies. Light to be found. Give me food, give me food. Five. Oh my god, I am so, so lucky to have that. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Yes, I am. Thank you, me maiden. Beautiful hair, by the way. Let us move down. Deeper towards our foe. Down, you've discovered the exit to this area. Take the stairs. Down we go. We embark on a long journey. So we have to hitch a ride at the end of this. Each of these cards is crafted from your memories. Really? And built from your experience. Okay. I created them, but only in the abstract. It is the importance you place on them that makes them real. So literally what you're saying is the power of thought. Isn't that ironic? Twisted canyons. You see your weapon glinting in the sunlight. Ah, again, it's, let's climb down there and grab it. Let's see where the top card goes. Choose from these options. That was a guaranteed success. As long as the uh, mace... 27 and holy damage. We're against rat people, but still. What do we have now? Axe 25. No, let's really? take the mace. Is that what you're going to do? Well, I'll take it the AI is not very smart that I equipped a better weapon. It shouldn't trigger that kind of sound. But let's not get too deep into the logic of the game, shall we? 
Angry mob. Uh, so quick to anger. That's what makes them As you approach the small town, which an angry mob of peasant marches forth and confronts you. Have eaten all our food. We're starving. We demand food. Thing is, I don't have a token here. So what exactly they're supposed to get from this? Give them nothing. Try to avoid the crowd. Let me give them half the food. Half your food with the peasants to gather around you to see your offerings. This isn't enough food f for to feed our children, someone cries. A fight breaks out among the peasants and you leave the scene. Okay. Traveling dweller. Jeweler. Jeweler dweller. In a shared grove off the beaten trail you find a traveling merchant. Approach the shop, let's see. Maybe he has some food. We still have 25 gold, so we could stack up again on food. So I did pay him off, I didn't get anything, so probably would have been better to fight it, especially without a token. Would have at least got some equipment off that, and a fight wouldn't be bad. Uh, I would ha I had a lot of food stocked up, so I could move back and forward between the items without getting any negatives. So, merchant contract 44, god damn it. I really like to try if I can actually stun and get a coin, if so I can stun the crap out of him. But it's only for three turns. Consuming shame. All weapon attacks are enhanced with powerful poison and taints. That is very nice. Buy food. 11, 4, 3, 1, 4, 4. Uh, should I buy one more? Yeah, let's buy one more. Cause, uh, leave. Yeah. So we're stuck up at least on the food that we lost. We did lose all our money, but it's fine. We, we shall move forward. Now we got some... Devil's choice. Okay. Like this demon. He lies as often as he tells the truth. Oh, awesome. So, a cloak devil appears in your path. I'm here to test your might, so-called hero. Choose your foe. Okay. Uh Skulls, 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 skulls. Uh there's supposedly uh, let's go with two of dust. Shit, I should have chose two of skulls because I have the mace. I should have chose... It didn't really change much, but I would have had the, the holy thing against them. Okay. So do I get anything? Excellent, the devil cries. You have passed my cunning test. Have some treasure. Perhaps next time our paths cross, I will kill you myself. The dealer draws one gain card. Okay. Well, that's, that's not bad. At least I get the token, which is really the most important part here. I really would like that token. So off we go. A horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You've found a friendly... You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. What a dick. Yeah, friendly tra trader willing to let you ride on his wagon. Hitch a ride. Off we go. 15 gold. Ah, my loan is coming back. 15 gold. 20 gold. Awesome. Very cool. Stairs are there. What brings you to play the game? Ha. I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. A winding trail. These this trails wind, and our goals wind with them. This doesn't sound very good. And these words draw us closer to the inevitable conclusion. Suddenly a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. The dealer draws one monster card. Wait, I thought you said one monster card. Weapons bristle from the trees around you. Their, their wielders' faces obscured. Their wielders? Isn't it the wielders' faces obscured by the undergrowth? Give us all your gold or die. Attack the cowardly band for daring to threaten you. Give them all your gold. There's quite a bit of them, but screw it. I got four of plague and dust, so I'm going to get poisoned and I don't have the holy... But I don't want to give them all my gold. Oh, kill the little shits. You shout battle cry and raise your weapon. Okay, it's a little bit weird again with these battle cries, man. I don't really have battle cry. Skip the animation. Let's 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 try to get into the fight as quick as possible. Oh, I'm 
hurting a lot. Oh, I'm getting poisoned. What am I getting poisoned by? Ah, oh, when the rats die, that bleeming smoke hits me. Okay. That was brutal, but do I at least get some equipment? That was the whole point of this. Do I get some loot? You search the bodies for loot. Equipment card, what do we get? Medium armor, excellent. Yeah, we equip that. Five max health, great. More health to work with. Much good meat, do you? Go back. There. Go back. I got I got ten food, and plus I don't get uh, I don't lose food for moving. So this is the advantage with this thing. I don't know if it was really intended. I guess so, but this is crazy. So I'm full. That's what I meant by always go with this. I guess in the beginning. Once I'm better at attacking, then I'll switch to the lion guy, traveling mage. So we did save our money. Let's see what we can get from the mage guy, so... Let's see what cool loot he has. Buy items. What do you got? Dragon's ring. While all dragon relics are equipped receiving, well, I don't have all dragon relics, so that's out of the question. Plunder's cap. When you draw supplies instead... Instead draw two and pick one. Well, that's nice. Each strike inflicts a curse, slowing and weakening your opponent. Hags wraps. Themocles. I don't know, this is nice, but I need supplies. But can I get them both? No, I can't. I'm missing one gold. <laughs> uh, really? No, no, I'm missing a little bit more. Get, wait, can I sell something? I could sell the crappy axe I have, no? For five? Maybe I could buy them both now. I have 78. I think I have exactly enough for all of it. So technically... I think so. So, f wait. But this is the cape. This is on the head. I don't want that because... Then I remove the bonus that I have as a class. I don't want to see the exit. But I could buy the cape and on the last one when I know that there isn't the... Uh, that there isn't an exit, I could put this on. But that's just for the supplies of the last run. So I can't really use that efficiently. So uh, Because I don't see an exit where the boss is. So I could put the cape on. But I'd only have to get supplies in that run to get the advantage. It's not really worth it. Uh, at this point, I'll probably save it. I'll probably just equip this, honestly. It's not enough that you kill them. You'll curse them, too. So automatically it quips if I don't have it. So. Leave, yes. Oh, wait. I could buy food. I could buy f food. I got nine food. Maybe I shouldn't buy food. Because the thing is, I don't know what else is going to happen, so... Uh, I'd buy food, honestly. I'd, I'd buy food. I can always stock up on food. Because in case I bump into another quest, they generally just suck the food out of me. Buy food, do I have the big one? One food for six? God, no, man. That's just brutal. I have nine food, so... And I don't consume for moving, so that's that's a great thing. I consume just for moving on an unexplored one. Ambush. Again, the surprise attack. Novelty must wear a slight rustling behind you. Travel. Two monster cards. So three of dust, two of skulls. So we do have the holy mace. So the skulls are going to get it hard. I just got to use my controls decently. Wait. Yeah, you see? You see the... Uh, the, the counter. Uh, 
There we go. Dead he is. Getting slight, just slightly better. Still, I have to focus on the damn droid pad. But so far, so good. What do we have? Sneak up and kill him? While searching for any savage, you realize that one of the opponents is pretending to be dead. Let's kill the bugger. Okay. So anything except this. This should be the fail. Yeah. Three gain cards. Well, now we could have... See what I mean? Now it would have been an advantage to have the helmet. Frost Fang. Compared to what? The mace? No, we take the Frost Fang as a 28. Food. Three food. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Yeah, it's actually not bad, but technically could have then switched the helmets at the start. How the hell do you... you can always review your cards here. Could I switch the helmets then? Probably if I have more. Here is all you have gained. Nothing. Okay. I don't know if I could switch the helmet in the start of the run. Uh, I could go back and try it, but uh, I don't feel like doing that now, honestly. Because if I could switch the helmet of the run, I see where the exit is, and then I switch the helmet out. To the bonus helmet. Because I only need it in the start of the run. I must try that, honestly. I'm just interested. I'm interested to see if it, if, if it approached the shop. Ah, if it's there, it could not be there. It could... Could there could be something else now? I don't know. We could have a completely different uh, drop. Yeah, shit. Press right bumper to attack faster with each successful strike. The longer you combo, the more explosive the reaction. Plunder's cap when you draw supply instead of instead draw two and pick one. Supplies that was just a reward, so that doesn't still apply to the plunder's cap. So no. A dragon ring, Damocles. This is a spell, though. Press right bumper to attack faster with each successful strike. The longer your combo, the more explosive the reaction. That sounds really cool, man. I'd really like to try it. And plus, I have the. Uh, Forged of alchemical processes. Plus, I have like a curse. I have. Nothing like it. Would you mind me? God you powerful damn it. abilities to use in combat. Would you mind me finishing? So, like I said, because I have uh, I have the thing on my hand, and I, of course I can't check it. Huh? I have the thing on my hand, the sort of curse thingy thing. Why can't I check it though? Hold on, let me see why I can't check it. Trinkets. I don't have any trinkets. I can't check my items. Well, I have that thing in my hand that's supposed to like give me a, a random curse every time. Asleep in the forest. Spirits roaming the darkness. With the struggles, the boundaries are weaker than they've ever been. While sleeping in the forest, you're jolted awake by voice calling your name. You see a vaguely human-shaped ghost rushing towards you. You're quick to your feet, weapon already in the hand. The ghost stops abruptly, hands signaling that it means no harm its voice is weak and distant you forget me already has this place already corrupted you so let's lower our weapon i should not be here i fear his servants already know where i am for a brief moment the ghost pale face achingly familiar feels achingly familiar pale eyes feel achingly familiar please come home soon okay you blink and the ghost is gone. At your feet is a bag of food. The deal draws one food card gain. Do I get the token? No, I don't. No, I do get the token. Okay, so that was a token for literally doing nothing. Down the stairs we go. Were you hoping this was the end? No. Another floor awaits. Down the stairs we go. 
escaping forest. So we're still not there. We're still Did not there. Did you expect there. me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, I am different. Doesn't that want all My fortune tellers are say? Genuine. Yeah, really? So, hunting the huntsman. Ah, Let's so it continues. On their foolishness. We are tracking him down, though. So it turns out that it's not too hard to track down a mad huntsman who's on a crusade across the countryside in search for the mythical beast. He has been spotted interrogating tavern goers, accosting travelers in the woods, and closely scrutinizing various animal droppings. You hear that he recently left the small town of Thatch Cross and was seen heading into the forest nearby. You follow a set of tracks and lead into a leafy glade. Colorful autumnal, autumnal debris blankets the ground. You stop dead when you hear a suspicious loud snapping sound beneath your feet. Shit. Failure, failure. Oh, no fucking clue. Let's go with this. Oh my god. You catch the edge of the pit with a firm grasp and manage to haul yourself onto the solid ground. In front of you stands a grizzled veteran hunter. Adorned with many trophies from his skills, he moves with calm assurance, but his gaze pierces you like a dagger. I'm impressed that you escaped my trap. In fairness, it was not designed for one such as you, but someone more sustainable. Substantial. What a dick, like as if you're not substantial. Having spent so many years in the role of a hunter, it is unusual to find myself as prey. Let us share a drink at the tavern where you can converse, where we can converse as men instead of tr tracking each other's footprints like beasts. Awesome. So we end up having a drink now or later? I take it later. Yeah. So it's gonna continue. Interested to see how that goes. Not again, man. The rat men begin to creep towards the edge of the town. An angry mob peasant marches confronts you. Last time I gave him food, right? So uh, I'm not gonna give him shit this time. Honestly, I don't give him nothing. You try to ask them why they have no food and explain that they have no reason to attack you. They're gonna press around you even as they try to speak. Shit. Yes! You managed to con convince them that you're... You are only a hungry vagabond yourself. Reluctant, they let you pass. So this card really does nothing. Just annoy you. I thought there might be some more story to it. I gave him food. I got nothing out of it. So uh, that's like literally just a screw you card. So traveling tinker. We have a shop. Though we can't really buy much. Let's just take a look at what we have. So far, no fights. I think maybe that after this it should be the last floor, so Fortitude's Breath. Every third encounter does not consume food. Press B button to shield bash the target. That's nice. Fleet Cuffs increases the wearer's movement speed. I don't need that. Democles, we already know. Helm of Reflection. Upon reflecting a projectile, this helm creates a small force explosion. So we don't need that as well, and we don't need food. I think we're pretty good. I think we're pretty good. Could be wrong, but I think so far we're pretty good. So let's move forward. Again? Come on, guys, man. Anger rises. Anger without form or direction. Try to avoid the crowd. Give them nothing. Uh, let's try to avoid the crowd. Use your frost fang weapon to slow them down. Waves of magic cold sweep over the crowd as you unleash your third. You stun and freezing the peasants can do little more than watch you rapidly retreat. Great. So now if I move forward, it shouldn't trigger again. Yes. So cool. Because I got a weapon, I can actually slow them down. The frost fang. Because I didn't have that before. So that's very cool. Because of a weapon, the story actually changes. That, that That's a very nice uh, nifty little thing. Let us move forward then. Dead King's Hall. Greed. New. If it were not for greed, then who would play at this game? I don't know. Just curious explorers, I guess. So, the Dead King's Hall. You see an ancient ornate coffin in the main burial chamber. It may hold spectacular wealth, but it'll surely be guarded. Draw two monster cards. Skull and dust. Attempt to take them by surprise. Attempt to take them by surprise. Huge success and 
Uh, this... Shit. Huge, huge failure, too. Oh, crap. You are spotted as you approach and the creatures ready themselves for combat. So what is the huge failure? Oh, wasn't that minus five food? I'm keeping the, the magic thing for hopefully later. Uh, I don't even know how to trigger it, honestly. But I do have the magic thingy thingy that I'm supposed to be able to trigger. So that is the end of that. So, what do I get? You loot the room. Three game cards. Equipment. What do we have? What do we have? Desperate measures. We already have this. Few select these sorts of weapons because nobody ever anticipates being in peril. More damage on lower health. Confidence is no. Downfall. Food is good. Gold is always good. Your prize. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted, honestly. The token is the ultimate. So forward we go. Forest escape. Roaming ever forward. Hunting for the truth. Your path forward will take you into the forest. Take the forest path. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. Hush. Can you hear the way his claws scratch the tiles? So we know the boss is here. Ratman hunting. Now you begin to trespass upon the Ratman's hunting grounds. Four rats. The buggers are poisonous. I think they have like the poison cloud, so we gotta be a little bit careful. Skip all this stuff. What is it? Wow, look at the amount of effects I'm applying over them. Well, he got me in the back pretty good. We can always move up and down and resolve this problem very quickly, so that is that. Ratsman is down. I did trigger, I think, the, the magical thing. You sigh as you search the bodies, finding nothing. If only there were any other way to stop this plague of Ratman. Pay someone to take care of it, perhaps? Really, so that maybe the story continues with me bribing someone else. Let's go there. Let's go there. Shop. Uh, last round, 80 gold, so let's blow the gold. Approach the shop. I have much to offer you. Well, let's see what you got. Buy item, healing cap. Any healing that the player receives is doubled. Uh, probably at the end of the run, so at movement speeds, which is not don't really care because I'm the explorer so I can move as many times as I want and heal as many times as I want so not really useful for me for this class for future's breath every third encounter does not consume food don't care I'm done with the food shields why what do I have same shield a strong left arm upon reflecting on projectile the sound creates right a small arm. force explosion so this probably would be good uh, since there's no exit, I'll just buy this just to equip it honestly, and if I can hopefully be able to reflect Cross stuff. Defense, but a valuable one nonetheless. If I can hopefully be able to reflect it, would be useful. So, in terms of food, how much food do we have? Ten food. I don't think we had ten tiles there, so that's fine. So let's try to actually focus on reflecting something to make the helm worthwhile. I don't know if I should go up or down. Again, my whole point is to be able to complete as many of these cards as possible. Please, no boss. A wife's fury, great. You are braver than I if you're willing to get involved in a marital <laughs> That's exactly what I was gonna think of saying. <laughs> while traveling through a small town, I was like, great, I'm like, shit, no. Uh, while traveling through a small town, you're accosted by a furious woman who shouts at you from the door of her homestead. You there! You look like you can handle yourself. My husband was supposed to be home hours ago, but instead he's with his pals, drinking away all our coin. They left the spoils from their latest job. They left their spoils from their latest job here. If you go and teach them a lesson, you can take your pick. What do you say? Go to the tavern, confront the husband, leave the wife to deal with it herself. Nah, man, well, let's help out the the guy, the dude. Now here's someone with some sense. I'd crack his skull myself. 
a dragon cow is birthing a litter and might burn the whole place down. So a cow, you have a dragon cow. No, I will not even bother commenting. You find the woman's husband and you meet the jack again. Did you think him done before? Oh no. So that's the jack. Shuffled back into the deck to rise again to the And top. that's his wife. Well, that's abs we makes absolute sense, man. I feel so sorry for you. So what do we do now? You call the woman's husband to the local tavern. He's busy playing a drinking game with his friends. Threaten him or join his drinking game. Uh, I don't know, honestly. I really do want that. Uh... Well, if I'm doing it for the woman, I should go all out. But I don't know what he's actually really thinking or what happens. So maybe if I play with him, I could find out what's happening. I don't know how deep they'd go. Let's let's try this and see what oh great. Awesome. You drink too many flagons when it's ale and fall unconscious. Sometimes in the early hours you awaken in your dear ditch the next morning. One pain card. Five max health. Oh dear. That was And he took it away, damn ass. Okay. Battle at Borktop. This are rife with power. It is not chance that you should meet a warlock here. Oh, awesome! The light draws you to a near hilltop where you see a warlock disappear in a cloud of sulfur, leaving behind a summoned minion. Draw two monster cards. The Jack of Skulls returns to the fray. Would you expect any less? Well, let's attack the bugger. So let me try to. Why? So is he going to attack or what? Wow, that is really slow. There we go. Frostfang. So Frostfang is the left one and then we have the Silver Alchemy is the right, right one. Two gain cards. Okay. 10 health. Nice. For us, health isn't such an issue because we can move around as you climb down the other side of the hill. You pile what looks to be the remains of an ancient temple on the other nearby hilltop. The card token is now yours. Great. Wow, we have a token. Great, great. That's very cool. So I'm a little bit worried where the boss is. I believe he's there. So I'm going to go back. I'm ho I'm hoping that I... No, I don't, I don't, want, I don't want the shop. Uh, pass by it. My luck is going to be here, noble trader. Nobly mind, or simply noble by birth. I have a token on this one. A nobleman approaches from a chariot. As he walks the streets of Stegel, he notices you and comes to a stop. Greetings, mercenary. I'm a collector of rare weapons, and yours intrigues me. Would you part with it for gold? Uh, well, I do have another one. If I get the token... Yeah, fuck it, let's just do it. Sell your weapon to the most splendid. I've never seen one of these. The card token is now yours. Excellent. Five gold gain cards. 20 gold. Okay, but do I get, like, the token? I'm sure you're grateful for that. I don't... Uh, I get the token. Okay. I was going to say, I just lost everything and I don't get the token. So let's go back to the shop because we got loads of gold. And literally the boss is in one of these last two. So let's try to juice it for what it's worth. Approach the shop. I don't know if he's going to have any new stuff or not. 
So let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, come on, skip the animations. Buy item, what do we have? Chain of Rage. During combat strikes from bows, wands have a chance to restore your cooldown. I can barely reflect. Just trying to understand. Mercenary contract. Very nice, completely useless. I'm at the end of the game, the boss is there. Democles and shield. I don't have a shield? No, I do have a shield. Fling so for sure, not that. Back in their faces. Ah, I can only and have one. For all and mercy for none. Medium armor provides good protection against uh, physical harm with minimal restrictions. During combat, they have a chance to restore your cooldown. Not that I have to block strike sustained from bows. Well, that's pretty much me because I'm completely useless at. Uh, what will you do with that? Equip it, you twit. So uh, out we go. Uh, they could have improved the AI just a little bit more, honestly. And uh, I'm hoping he's still on that corner. So uh, let's see if we can really juice this for what it's worth. Please tell me it's not him. Yes, great. So the last boss is at the corner. Goblins Kings Hall one. I will happily wager on the outcome. One night, as you lie in the force cleaning, you disturbed by the sight of a shadowy figure watching from the darkness. Well met, the goblin exclaimed, stepping into the light and sitting by the fire. Just armed warrior, I've been just armed warrior I've been seeking. Asking him to elaborate. The goblin makes himself comfortable. My name is Mr. Lionel, and I have a tale of woe to share with you, and perhaps an opportunity for you to make a tidy profit from my misfortune. He goes on to tell the story of his troubles with the king of the goblins while lamenting his subsequent banishment from the goblins community. Well, that sucks. The king could have shown le leniency, he concludes, given that his daughter and I were both drunk from the excellent Dolicine brandy served at his coronation. You know, so many times that has happened to so many kings, man. Feel ya. Instead, he opted to make his first official act by banishing by banishment. The fool will regret it, though. For now, it's time for revenge, he says, eagerly taking out a strange amulet. For hundreds of years, the Goblin's Kings has gathered treasure and hoarded in a serious enchantment and ever-changing treasure vaults. Only the Goblin King himself knows where his treasure vaults are hidden, but now I have a way to find them. I just need a lock of elven hair to complete this magical device. Hmm, isn't that the, the chick, the maiden, that has the hair, no? Except the task refused to get involved. Accept the task, man, of course. Excellent. The car token is now yours. With that, he returns to the shadows and sits down behind the bush watching you. Okay, that's so, so not weird, but okay. And this is the boss. Jack of Plague. He awaits plague and pestilence and blood. Faster and, teeth. and stronger than normal ratmen. This beat inspires, this beast inspires all vermin around him to strike faster the more damage he sustains. Here is a beast who hates you, your kind, and is grown fat and evil with that hatred. The Jack of Plague will kill you and suck the marrow from your bones. Well, this we token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. We are pretty much fully equipped for this fight now. I just got a shit. I didn't equip the the mace, did I? It's gonna give me the shitty. Uh... Please tell me it's not gonna give me the shitty axe. Does it auto-equip the, the second weapon that I have? Desperate measures. Yes, actually, it does equip the mace. Ah! So, hold on. No, no. Oh my god, that hurt! That was it! That was the best fight of all, but, you know, we do get better slowly and gradually. Nice helmet! And that is that! Nice, nice little Queens and kings of the rat kind have lost a child here today. Okay. 
I think your token. it's getting a little bit longer. Well done. Not Mr. sure. Potter, your reward. But I might actually start splitting them up, the gameplays, so let's see. Let's see what we got. We got a bunch of them this time. For loaning gold for the merchant, you receive marketplace. Great. For surviving the devil's choice, you receive devil's wager. Okay. For showing the ghost you're merciful, you receive asleep at the inn. For escaping the huntsman's trap, you receive the mug in the barrel. For exploring the dead king's hall, you receive treasure's chest. Okay. For exploring Brooktop Hill, you receive 25 gold and the altar. So we have another random chance of getting 25 gold. For trading with the nobleman, you receive 25 gold. Again, another one in the deck. And the lovers, so we get a new story. Very cool. For joining Mr. Lion's quest card, you receive the maiden. Yes, that's the one she's gonna give me her hair. Reward for defeating the Ratman Jack, you receive Berserker Armor, Scorching Zeal, Culling the Ratman, King of Dust, that's probably the next boss, Devil's Carnival, Ember Town Hero. Okay, okay, that is a continuation of what we had before as well, so that's very nice. Defeating my Ratman Jack, I will give you a new challenge. Ratman Hunting, Ratman Hunting, oh come on man. Great, great, so now we're gonna have loads of rats. Come, play. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this. This has been an awesome gameplay. Yes, as I was about to say this now, it's actually getting pretty interesting. I'm still a little bit down in terms of my gameplay of the fights on the key, on the joypad, but we shall improve that over time, and we are doing very, very, very well. So let's try to complete this, and maybe if I'll be more entertained to complete the whole series, I might actually do an infinite series after this and see how far we can go and juice the living crap out of it. So let's see. Let's see. See ya.